For more than 160 years, the floor of the Chicago Board of Trade, the world's biggest commodities market, has set the scene for traders to win or lose a fortune in an instant. What I can make on a good day could be tens of thousands of dollars. I could also lose tens of thousands of dollars. And I've done both. The market has a way of testing your limits, I think. In the middle of June, I've lost my year. I literally lost my year, what I'd worked six months for in a day. What? They're, they're 10 bid? Shit, not anymore. But the trader's world is changing. Now the vast majority of global transactions are electronic, and the markets have grown far bigger and more complex than ever before. We do over $100 billion of business a day across the whole world. We will be sending out at any point in time more than a million quotes. One to two billion. There is no way that a human being can process that. But whether traders are competing face to face or against the screens, to succeed in one of the best paid professions in the world, the psychological battles remain the same. Anything can happen at any time, and how well you adapt to it is going to determine your performance. It's a competition. From the unforgiving lows to the spectacular highs, meet the men and women who have chosen a life inside the ultimate risk and reward business. Oh, get up! Golf gives me a chance to kind of get away from all the numbers and uh, clear my mind a little. Virginia McGathy often risks hundreds of thousands of dollars a day to do her job as a broker and trader. Imagine having to be at your peak performance, being able to jostle numbers around for four hours straight. Taking it downtown. Focusing and staying sharp mentally and physically really requires an enormous amount of energy and effort. We've had a few people with heart attacks and the stress of it can really take you down. Despite the pressures of the job, Virginia has worked at the Chicago Board of Trade ever since she started as a runner at the age of 17. Now she runs her own company, dealing in commodities like wheat, corn, and soybeans on the grain futures market. July 725 puts, July 725 puts. The concept of futures started in Chicago in 1848 as a way to protect grain farmers and their customers from risk. Back in the day, we had sampling bags of the seeds and of the grain themselves with the actual product from the farms. A market for buying and selling contracts for the delivery of grain in the future meant farmers could